Today we are focusing on step number two of how to build your brand from scratch and this comes as a result of a brilliant question that I received from Claire in Leeds who wanted to know how she could do that. So if you like Claire are thinking that you're going to either start something from scratch or you've got something you want to reignite then this is a great process or even if you're going to launch a new product or service this is a brilliant process to go through to do that. <music> So if you haven't watched step one, go back and watch step one. It's within this series on the channel. So go and watch that and just then come back and enjoy step two or watch step two and go back and watch step one. So let's get stuck in. Today is all about crafting your offer. Now we've gone through the process of doing the research and listening that we're, I've talked through in step one. When you craft your offer, you all you're doing really is taking that research and creating solutions around the problems that your ideal customers have. So by now on step two, you will have done step one. You'll have gone through the process. You'll have asked the questions. You'll have received the download from me that I gave in step one. And so go back and watch that. Make sure that you uh, you request the, the, the download for that. Now, this is something that I created for my Brand Builders Club members. So that it's not something that's a lead magnet. I haven't created it to be that. It's just something that is in the Brand Builders Club Learning Library in the Online Learning Center that I think will really help you. So there's no funnel, there's no email address to sign up and stuff like that. Just drop me an email to sammy at howtobuildabrand.org and I'll just simply send you that email straight back with the uh, with the documents in it because they're really powerful and they will help you to get people to pay for your products and services as you are creating them. Don't try and create them and then sell them. Create them around your customers and you will always sell more of them. So for this process, I want you to think of a particular product or service that you would really love to sell more of. And we're going to look at how you craft your offer. Now, the way that you go about crafting that offer is to go through, I call it the seven step brand Kickstarter. That is a mini course that I've created. I'll take you through a little bit of the process now. Um, but you, you want to really get focused on what is the vision for that product or service. So don't just create something that solves a problem and then hope that everyone buys it. You want to create a vision for it. Like how many lives do you want that product or service to have touched? How many people do you want to have reached through that product or service? How many ripples do you want to create with your one drop? And I want you to think about the, the verification of that because social proof is such an, a massive part of you selling more of your products and services. You want as many people as possible to be talking positively about it so that you've got more people that are going out and becoming your marketing army for you. So how, how do you want to really have other people share that message about what you're, you're selling? And that's a key part because what you'll probably find is that people are saying different things at different times because you haven't taken control of that. So it's really key that you take control of your label, otherwise somebody else will. And it might not be what you want them to be sharing uh, about your product or service. So once you've decided what that is, then get really clear on the messaging around it. And here's a little process that I teach in Brand Builders Club that will help you to master how you're crafting that offer. So the first step is, once you know the vision of it and how many people you'd like it to support, get really clear on who exactly it's for. Now, where it comes to niching, I think it's it's not so important when you're, you know, it is important, obviously, that you're building your brand in something. You're becoming known for something. You're sticking your flag on the moon and saying, yeah, this is who I am. But it's more important that you create something that you can breathe within when you're creating your brand. For example, my brand is all around brand, which is a niche of its own, but it's so big. There are so many different areas of brand that I can talk about that it, there's a lot of depth that I can go to. There's a lot of content that I have. I've created over a thousand mini courses and masterclasses around this subject. I'm never going to run out of things to say. So it's, it's wide enough because I focused on brand, but it's, it's deep, deep enough and it's got enough depth to it that I can talk about lots of different things within it. So that's what's important when you're creating your actual brand because then you as an identity, you really, every time someone mentions the word brand, I want Sammy Blindell to be attached to that word. I want to own that word as much as I can. But when I'm creating a product or a service for someone or a particular audience, I really niche that and I niche it to the point that I know 
where they live, what they do, how much they earn, how old they are, whether they've got a family or not, what they drive, where they eat, where they go on holiday, what perfume they wear or aftershave. I, I know everything about their life. How often they go away? What do they do with their spare time? Um, you know, what are the biggest problems that are keeping them awake at night? I know exactly the answers to those because I got so specific about who those products and services are for that I was able to ask a whole community of people who have that problem to get the answers that they would want. Like if I could give them anything that would support them to have achieved this or stopped that, what would that be? And I just got them to tell me. So again, it's part of that research and listening we started in, in step one, but is to really carry that on. When you craft the offer and you've got a vision for exactly who it's for and exactly what it does, what does it leave them with by the end of the product? What is your brand promise around that product? What can you guarantee it's going to give them? That's your brand promise. But also to think about how are you going to build into that process and build into that offer a way of uh, creating an ambassador from that person as well. So they become an ambassador and they want to go and tell a lot more people about it too. So get really, really clear on that and think about the, the offer itself as having, there's five steps really to having a really good offer. And it's the first part of that is the why the customer, why them? Why have you picked them? Why are they the perfect person for this product that you want to create or that you have created? I would advise you build your products around your customers. Like have an idea of a skeleton of roughly what you want to create, but then build it around those people because they're going to tell you exactly what they want, how they want it, and you're going to create it for them and they'll even tell you how much they want to pay for it. So you can start building it around exactly what they want and need. So why you, the customer? Why me, the expert? Yeah, so you want to think about when you're thinking, okay, well, why am I the best expert to deliver this product or service? You want to be clear about that. Maybe it's the amount of experience you've got. Maybe you've got no qualifications in it, but you've got a whole lifetime of experience in that. You are well overqualified if you do. You're more qualified than somebody who's got the qualifications, but no experience. So, so think about why you are the best person. What have you gone through? What's your story? Or what story um, can you create out of the experiences that you've had that build up to you being the best person to deliver that product or service? Why this product or service? So why you? Why me? Why this? Why is this product or service going to make the difference to you? Not just a difference, but the difference. What's it going to do that no other product or service can do? And why now? Why you? My, why me? Why this? Why now? Why is now the best time? What will happen to you if you don't take action now? What pain are you going to continue to be in if you don't do something with this? Why now? And the final thing is your call to action. How are they going to buy it? <laughs> what's their next step? So why you? Why me? Why this? Why now? And what's the next step? How do they, how do they take action? The other thing about crafting your offer is really making sure that you also build in, I call it the, and you'll see this actually if, you, if you've emailed me and I've emailed you back the early adopter um, system and the 25 questions, you'll see in the early adoptive system that, um, that I ask five questions or it's not necessarily five questions, but there's five benefits, five brand promises as such. So what do you, what do they gain? What do they save? What does this program improve? What will they Im what they improve for them? What does it enhance? All right. So what what's it doing? What does it build? What does it leave them with? So there are there are really five words: uh, enhance, gain, save, improve, reduce. That's another one. Uh, you know. So think about what those five things are. What what does this actually do? What does it leave them with? And and then you're ready to start crafting that post that that uh, I talked about in step one. So that's it. That's about creating your offer. So I want you to think about what is it that you've got? What product or service are you going to use this process to go through that you would like to, to get out there and selling in a bigger way, even if it's just an idea, even if you haven't created it yet? Put it in the comments below. You never know who's watching this video who would read this thread and think, oh, I need that. 
<laughs> and I actively encourage you, instead of going out into the world and buying it from other people, look down in this thread first and see, is there somebody who's offering something that you really need? Because together we're stronger. And if we can champion each other here, it's going to be easier to champion each other out there, isn't it? So that was step number two. If you've enjoyed this series so far, please do subscribe to the channel and let other people know how they can subscribe too. And I have a question for you. I want to know if you had an extra $10,000 right now to spend on your business, to invest in your business, what would you spend it on? I'd love to know. There are so many things that we could we could invest in, right? But what do you believe is the one thing that you could invest in that would take your business to the next level, that would elevate you and enable you to really build that that business and life that you love and the income that you want from it? So what would be that that next best investment for you right now? I'd love to know. Put it in the comments. Let's see if we can make that magic happen. You never know who I know who might be able to give it to you. You just never know. So let's do, do a bit of dream. This is the playground of possibilities. Do pop that below. And remember, there are lots of resources and support and articles and downloads on my website. Go across there. And, um, and if there's something that you need and you can't find it there, let me know. And I will do my very best to make it for you or bring in an expert who can. So take care. Have fun. Be happy. Be that drop you want to see in the world. And I will look forward to seeing you in step number three.